Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of the Undefeated Podcast. It's the Undefeated Podcast, but it's different, bro. Very different. It's very different because we said, you know what? They need more content, fam. Absolutely. They, we said they need interviews. <laughs> and we said, who are we going to get first, fam? Chris Congo. It's time. Hold on, hold on. Let me drop that you bomb again. Hold switch. on, hold on. I'm at the screen. Hey, drop that Because I weren't loud enough. I weren't loud enough. to drop the bomb. No, that's right the there, fam. There that's the bomb, fam. It's not there you go, fam. You go. That's listen, Congo. Welcome, bro. What's going on, bro? Thank you, thank you, thank you lads. Let, you know, you actually, you I, I'm not hiding the water here because mm. we're safe in it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we're safe, bro. Why are people? Why are people scared of you with water bottles, fam? Why did you? Why did you have Sky looking like that? Talk listen, to us. Listen, listen. You know me. I don't do all of that stuff, but when someone's about that, yeah. you gotta be ready. Yes, yeah, so I was just ready in him. I was like, "Raw, what? Let me have my water." And he's got his water. Mm. Yeah, he talks like he's. He says he's well behaved, but we've all seen him causing havoc all the time. Yeah. So, I wanted to be prepared myself. All right. So you know look, I mean? let's let's let's. We're getting see. straight into yeah, it. Yeah, we're getting bro. straight into let's, it. Let's, let's go to the deep let's, end. No, no. Let's let's, go, let's bring go. in the listeners. Let's, let's, go. let's go. Florian Marku, Chris Cock. It's been announced. Yeah. Woo! been announced bro how do you feel man because it's been a while we've been looking forward to this fight we've been talking about it for a minute i feel good man i feel good um everyone's been waiting for this fight to happen it's been talked about for how long yeah, yeah? and now it's here and you lot gonna see the result in a couple couple weeks so yeah man we're, this is, we're this, ready. is we're this is ready. personal isn't it this is personal. Glad we're honest, bro. When that when that last press conference happened and you man were doing the shoving thing, yeah, I wasn't happy that you didn't get your. You know what I mean, you didn't I didn't like it. Right now, you so need to get your. You bro, get back is needed from you. Yeah, man, you, you caught me slipping. Man, I was in Crocs and that. And that so <laughs> now I managed to get my thing. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. boxing shoes yeah. on. Yeah, certified. Then next time, boots, shorts, gloves is peak. All right, calm. Let's, so let's look. We'll get we'll get back to the Marku fight. All right, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 nice to see you back in the mix because I've been yeah. like this this period of like quiet time. Mm, what's mm, been going yeah, on, bro? It's too much. It's too much. But hey, I've been there waiting, ready to fight whoever. Um, like I said to Gary Logan the other day, I got my shorts at Boxfit, and it has a date of May when they're ready. So they've been ready since May. So I've been basically ready since May mm. last year. But why then? So what's you say you've been ready since May. What's been stopping you? Because obviously, like in terms of management and stuff, mm -hmm. you like mm -hmm. what like your management situation, you was with you was part of it, you was a Dillian White fighter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Are obviously. you still a Dillian White fighter right no, now? Not anymore. Well, go on. Not what anymore. No, we just went our separate ways. I went my way, he went his way. Oh, you're giving us the proper so, BBC. What are you getting? Sky yeah, Sports? Yeah, yeah. This is feeling kind What's, of Sky Sports. Wait, hold on. Are, you meant, uh, are you meant in the same group chat still? Like, is it still like, is it love or did it end like, oh, we don't speak no more, but it's cool. We don't speak no more, but it's, it's actually cool. Like, I, I ain't got no problem with it. So when New Year's came around, do you say, hey, bro, happy New Year. Thank you for all the management, how you led my career and how you brought me into the light and that. I did it. So <laughs> oh, so we know. I think you're happy, yeah. But is, you, isn't it? He, but he's, he's, he's getting on. He's he's got a lot to deal with at the moment. Mm. So I'm probably the last person he's gonna wish happy New Year to. But it is what it is. We move on in it. We're growing up, so I'm not I'm not too fussed about it. But like that seemed like a decent situation for you. Like in terms of like just reg how regularly you were out. Do you mm. know what I mean? So so when did it end? Then so we can kind of look at the timeline of events. Like how did it? Because me we can speculate ourselves. Yeah. We're good at that. We just need to yeah, know this, this, details for speculation. This ended about September October. Okay, um, and obviously I was still ready. And then I had a li a little niggle in mm. December, mm. which kind of put me back. But yeah, towards the end of December, January, that's when I was back training. So yeah, it's just. It's one of one of them ones, man. What, what so, can I say? So when you're out of the ring, right? Yeah. And you're watching the world go by, because that's what it must feel like when you see yeah, fights get yeah, announced. Yeah, and yeah. what's the what's the energy like when you're training? Do you know what I mean? Mm. What is what does that feel like? Because I know like nowadays we see a lot of fights happening and mm -hmm. there's different promotional Saudis in the mix, but yeah. there's still a lot of guys who are just left out of the mix. Of course. I think um obviously it's, you don't you don't feel too good in it, but the the main thing is you just gotta keep training, man. If you if you really want something, yeah, you gotta put your heart and soul into it. And like I said before, 
I'm riding till the wheels fall off, bro. Man, is, I might even retire the same age as when Bernard Hopkins retired, bro. Oh, one of them ones, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm trying to like literally ride till the wheels fall off. So, where does that yes. come Are from? we gonna, like, what, what's yeah, it? Where, yeah. does, where does that come from? Because I hear, when I hear fighters talk about it, I mm. almost feel like some fighters fall into boxing like yeah i could fight and that's the only options i had so i'm gonna do this till i get enough bread and i'm gone yeah. like you're sounding like no this is this is me and this is what i'm on whatever yeah this this is me this is it i don't think um obviously i've i'm, I'm into a few things outside of boxing but mm. this is the only thing i pretty much enjoy bro i'll i'll be so real like i, I don't know what, what i'll do with it at the moment all right so let's start from the beginning then mm. How boxing? How did how does Chris Congo end up in the boxing gym? What happened? What's the story? Uh, I was I started at Fisher, um, ABC in Bermondsey. So my two brothers, they started before me. Yeah, but I wasn't boxing. I used to just go to the gym because it was a youth club. Okay, so man used to do the football. You know, it was table yeah, tennis yeah, and. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got the older guys. Wait, so you're telling me the, that there's a youth club, yeah, with mm -hmm. a boxing ring in the back, but they're trying to get the man box, with the... The boxing gym was upstairs. Okay. Yeah, so so downstairs was more of... It's a decent youth yeah, club still. They, bro, <laughs> youth think. clubs were popping back then, yeah, 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 And yeah. I was young, so I loved it. I always wanted to just go to the youth club. Yeah. And then next thing you know, I'm in the boxing gym. I'm just watching, thinking, oh, okay. Doing a bit of skipping. Just through watching... Through watching somebody skip, that's how I learned to skip. Mm. Oh, just like that, just yeah. like that. Through watching my brothers on the on the pads, that's how I learned to box. So then, just in terms of just, I want to think of the journey. I want to picture being there in this youth club right now. Mm. When's that moment when you're like, let me go upstairs and see what's going on? Because obviously, you're downstairs, you're doing mm. table tennis, playing pool, and that. What was that moment? It's like, oh, like, was you even nervous about, tentative about getting upstairs and see what's good up there? No, because I always used to go upstairs anyway. I used okay. to finish up upstairs with the guys. So it was just one of them ones, man. And uh, yeah, it just it just happened overnight, bro. I'll be so real. I, I remember it like it was yesterday, just training, training. Next thing you know, I'm having my first amateur fight. Oh, man. My brother's buying me boxing boots. I got my shorts with my name on it. I'm thinking, oh. What, in your man. first amateur fight? You had your name first, on it? Yeah, bro. That came in loud. Yeah, bro, Ski. <laughs> yeah, bro, Ski. <laughs> wait, wait, so, wait. I'm trying to answer. You were looking like an amateur in your first because no one should up. have the name yeah, on his yeah, shorts no, already. Man, man was professional, bro. My, my brother come say, yo, yeah, you're, you're going to step into this game looking suave. Okay, so, that's cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, I was supported from young by him. And what's okay with you say how many brothers you got? Two brothers. Two brothers. Who yeah. was the like more superior one in the ring? Me personally, uh not out of you, by the way, the two yeah, brothers. Out of the two, uh definitely my second brother Obed, who's now um a professional coach who trains he's, you'll see him in the corner with Chevron Clock oh, okay. this weekend. Yeah, okay. So, Chevron Clark, they got another, they got another very good Albanian, yeah. better than Florian Marku. <laughs> Talk up the things, fam. Nerado. Absolutely, he's, fam. He's, he's the Albanian you want to look out for. That's yeah. the real fine. Albanian, he's, yeah. He's the, he's the real Albanian. Hold on, hold on. Are you telling me the truth? Are you telling me <laughs> yeah, the truth? I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> he's the real one. I believe he's going to be the next one mm. up. But um, yeah, my brother, he's, he's a pro coach at Churchill's Boxing Gym. So yeah. I think he was the more superior one. He went to, he was boxing for GB for about seven years. Oh, wow. Uh, was a light heavyweight. And he done his thing. He done his thing. But mm. obviously he, did, he did, tried to make the transition, but it just didn't work for him. And he just thought, yeah, I'm just going to leave, leave leave it alone. Fair so, enough. Fair enough. So good. So like your, your amateur career, right? How many mm. fights do you have amateur? I had 90 fights. 90 fights. Yeah. Okay. So, and it's funny, right? Because at, you see when you come into boxing in the pro game, like mm -hmm. I'm starting to realize now, like after kind of years of really, like, especially with this pod, yes. really looking to fight. I see a difference in fighters and it comes down to the amateur career a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Like you look at their record, the man's like 17 and 0 and you think, ah, oh, he's exciting. But my man's over there. Da -da -da -da. Then you find that he's got 150 amateur fights mm -hmm. and this brother's got 20. And he just makes it look very easy. Yeah, Do you notice a difference yeah. when you're mixing it with fighters based on their amateur career versus who they are as professionals? 
I mean, it's you know what you can have the the deadest amateur, but when they turn pro, they'll be monsters. Mm. So I never like look at an amateur career and think, oh, maybe this, maybe that. Like it's not. I I, I don't look at that. I mm. just look at what they are now as a pro because I'm a pro mm. and I'm trying to better myself. So that's how I see it. What are you fighting for? And I know that sounds kind of philosophical in a sense, but what's the reason? Why are you getting up and running? You know, when you talk about, mm-hmm. like, what's driving you for this? I'm trying to be one of the best to come out of the UK, if I'm honest. Mm. I want them to say, yo, see Chris Congo? He was a bad boy fighter. Mm. I want, I want, I really want, I'm chasing, like, legacy um, at the moment. And that's, that's the aim. Obviously, I know certain times things end up going the other way, obviously speaking to Paulie Malinaji and speaking to the top, top fighters that when you get to a certain level, it is about the money. But right now, I'm still at a British-European level, I would say. And um, yeah. mm. I'm looking to get there to the, world, to the world stages this year for sure and just push on from there. The money will come anyways. It's, I'm not thinking about that. Mm. So like, cause I, I just want to like, just before we kind of move further into the story, like I want to touch on your childhood, like, yeah. cause you got two brothers that's grown up, yeah. have both, did both of them try to go pro and kind of just go through the process? Elvis, Elvis uh, was a pro. He, he turned okay. pro, um, I can't remember when, he only had six fights and mm. then retired, but mm. yeah, he's one of, they, they said, uh, um, he, he used to be trained by Al Smith. Okay. He was trained by Al Smith. Al Smith said, um, Elvis is the hardest puncher he's ever, the, one of the hardest punchers as a fighter he's ever worked with. So he was a, he was a big puncher. Obed was more mm. of like a, a slick star, like for, for a light heavyweight, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you couldn't touch him still. I'm not going to lie, the African in me, um, I'm hearing the names, bro. Yeah, yeah. this is what and I'm, we're not just going to skip over. We're not going to skip over Elvis, then yeah. Obed, fam. Like, <laughs> <laughs> then Chris, bro. Yeah. Eight, like... Hold on, what is there? Was there just a f- fan in the family? Like, what, like so how, is that was that uh, mom and dad? Like, what's the setup? What's what, this? How did that work? I'm trying to right. understand how three boys all end up in the pro game in some capacity. To 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 mom and dad, it was study, read your books, go to uni, and you this, all didn't that. listen. <laughs> we didn't listen. Still, <laughs> we didn't <laughs> listen. <laughs> The only person that listened was my sister because I got a sister as well. Okay, okay. She can you manage? She, she got into the fight game as well. <laughs> she, 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 you know what's so mad? Yeah, my sister's gonna see this, yeah. And she was like, she texted me like last year. Yeah, she was like, oh, who's them girls that were on Floyd Mayweather's undercard fighting? They're rubbish. I can beat them. <laughs> and I was like, no, we're not. We're not going there. We, we are not going and there. She, and she probably could still. <laughs> and she pro- Yo, my sister's got hands, you know. Of course she has. So obviously, I know that, it, like, she, she'll she probably do a thing, but I don't want to see that. You know, this, I, I don't no. even want to see my nephew. My nephew. He's he, boxing as well. He's boxing as well, bruv. He mash up some you. The other day, I felt sorry for the kid, bruv. No, he mash up some you. So but he's a, for he's, the family. He's, he's a so, footballer. I, I want him to do football. I got him into male and he's playing for me. So hold on. So what's my I need saying? to understand that. Wait, hold on. I just want to ask this question. Yeah. I need to understand why you don't want nephew fighting. What is it? Wh- have you learned something about the fight game for you to say that's not the roof? It's too ruthless. Too ruthless. It's, it's so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard. But as well, I don't want to see him get hit. I don't mm-hmm. want to see him get I hit. I hear it I, still. I'm just like... Like, yo, I, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, like, no, no, no. You know what I mean? Like, be careful. You know, but yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. from from his first fight, his mm-hmm. first amateur fight, which was towards the end of last year, like, because he, he almost stopped the guy, I was gassed. Yeah. I, was, I was so gassed. I was ah, I, I, ah, you know, you know that was the result. Yes. Unanimous decision. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, I think he's a better footballer. And I think he'll excel a lot more in football because he's tall. Um, I wouldn't say he's a ringer, but he's a ringer. He's there. Absolutely. So like, yeah. just before we move, from, I don't want to move from the childhood. I've got to understand how, mm-hmm. what's mommy saying through all of this? Boy. Or like- through, through me as a pro now? Yeah, no, because obviously I understand all three boys yeah. are fighters. Yeah. And I know she wasn't on side. 
No, nah, she went on it. Come on, man. My mom come. They, they come from Congo. Just you know what I mean. Try to find a better life for themselves and for their kids. So mm. for for my older brother, he was just like he wanted to get into something a bit active, and he didn't he didn't like football. Dead football. Yeah, <laughs> garbage. <laughs> yeah, garbage. Oh my That's god! Uh, he tried to do. I think he said rugby and a few other sports. But when he went into boxing, he he was just like, "Oh, I, I, I like this. I mm. like this." And um, yeah, just started from there, man. And I thought, "Raw, this looks mad." But because where are you in the lineup? Then are you like? I'm the last third. one. I'm the oh. third. Elvis, uh, Obed, then me. Right. So I'm, I'm can't be, can you imagine and the oldest one did it you know he was the one that brought everyone set to pace. The, yeah, he, he set he pace set pace it? still he set pace so now Obed went sort of all the way as an amateur mm. Elvis went pro but not all the way so I went I, I, I went all the way as an amateur so top level which is GB mm-hmm. and now as a pro I just got a finish it off well yeah, they maybe. say usually the youngest is meant to be about to say that. the youngest is the mm-hmm. better one mm-hmm. you know like and would you rank yourself because even when i said who's the who was the better fighter yeah. out of all you yeah. guys yeah I, well, I didn't bring you in mm-hmm. but i'm gonna bring you in now i think now i've mixed i've obviously elvis was more of like he he liked he style he liked mike tyson yeah so if you if you see it on my if you go on my Instagram, some of my stories, there's a story of Elvis. I've put a few of his fights up. Yeah. He's these people are going to sleep. Yeah. Like sleep. So <laughs> he was he had that style of sort of going inside, working in, moving his head. Obed was more outside boxer. Mm. So I just tried to combine mix, both combine both together. And yeah, man. I think see? even this fight as well, you never know. You might see me go deep in the trenches and work inside. My God, let's see, bro. Let's see, yeah, let's bro. See. Yeah, we'll see. See we'll me see. when I fight. I always want to give a good fight, man. I always want to give a good account of myself. The, That's you, one we can definitely let. We can mm-hmm. definitely stand with. In this one, well. I'm not gonna lie, bro. In this one, it's important because, like the the Kelvin fight, mm-hmm. we saw you. We yeah. that's when that was a fight when you said, Psh, you know what. Gonna Anyone can get. You're gonna have to hold yeah. that. Even times when your balance was off, but you was like, "I'm swing." I, I, mm-hmm. It's like you decided, "I need to take your jaw off today." Yeah. It's happening. That yeah. was the uh, that was the attitude that you had in this one. Mm-hmm. You bought the public. Are uh, the public really gonna see you, Marku, like on it, like mm-hmm. this right now? Or, mm-hmm. Because usually there's talk, and then it doesn't get, it doesn't live up to what we're saying. It, yeah. Are you man committed or you committed? I'm, to I'm always, taking his head off. I'm always committed and I have to, there's no, no choice, but I have to bring out um, a different side to me in this fight for sure. And I'm fully focused for the next six weeks mm-hmm. and I'm just focused on him. He's the main focus, nothing else. There's nothing else in my mind apart from that guy there. Mm. Yeah. That's it. What's, um, what was the hold up for this fight? Because I know sometimes everybody speaks publicly, but... Obviously, this is the barbershop now, bro. We can we can be very real. Because I know you said you was ready to go from last May. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I Were them man doing the hesitation thing? The, 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 you know how it is. They're always on the hesitation thing. Of course. Of course. He's manager. Um, probably Ben Shalom as well. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I, mm. I just try. You see me? I don't like all these negotiations. I think they're so long, man. Like, if you want to fight, just say yes and just fight, bro. Mm. yeah here's the here's the budget this is your purse this is your purse mm. yeah you happy with that okay well what you're not happy all right what do you want all right cool maybe we can do, boom fight done mm. you know what i mean why does this man have to like you see all this oh he wants to ring walk last and all, i don't care about that <laughs> i said it already why, yeah, why yeah. do i care about that yeah, yeah because at the end of the day even if i was a champion now and i had three belts and What's the difference between order, him order. walking out nah, first? Nah, come on, Chris. Nah, out. nah. I don't listen. If you got the, if you got the belts, yeah, yeah. Don't tell me you're walking out first just because my man asked for it, bro. There's certain respect that man's earned. You uh, gotta keep of, that, of course. But what what does that mean when the bell goes? Absolutely nothing. All right, then. This this mm. is my point. Mm. Mm. Why am I worried about him walking first or I'm walking first? I'm the champion. Why am I worried about that? Because there's only one bell, you know. When it goes ding, ding, ding. There's three minutes on the timer. You got to prove yourself there. You can't prove yourself in a ring walk. I hear that. I hear that. Do you... 
know the stakes are high, right? Because now we're we're in the journey. Do you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And there's been a lot of chapters mm-hmm. because for a while you was with Eddie Hearn. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? And that was like I wasn't signed to Eddie. I was just working with him. A fight by a fight type fight, situation. Fight, yeah, sort of. Obviously, I was signed to Dillian. Dillian so okay, Dillian so that was put, a part of it. In his word, so yeah. So, so it was no really a direct thing with Eddie, but it was like, you still, I mean, f- all right, from the outside, mm. you still had the platform. Yeah. That's the best yeah. kind of promotional outfit for a good while. Mm-hmm. And you say, yeah, you're there. What was that situation like? Like in terms of fights, whenever you wanted, like what was the situation? Was that a comfortable situation? Uh, to be honest, I, n- I never really spoke to Eddie, you know? Okay. I never really spoke to him. I just let the management deal with it. So mm. obviously I, I believe that we could have done it better, but it, it is what it is, isn't it? The time's gone now. Because you was onto Conor Ben for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Conor was ben. the, I remember yeah, that. Like, that yeah. was good. You know, yeah. the spice. And you know what's crazy? Yeah. Oh, Conor needs a dance partner. Yeah, Conor said, needs a, now Conor, more than ever. Conor now needs now, a dance partner. I feel like right now he's, he's just caught, He's, he'll flip and call out a new A if he, if he has to. <laughs> like it's, mad, it's looking mad no, for him. That's... I'm not going to lie, bro. But think about it. He's called out Javante. He's calling he's out big out. names. Yeah. Pacquiao. You Wait, there's Pacquiao. another name. There's another. There's an old school fighter that he's called out as well. Like... Might be Pacquiao. Ennis, no. Ennis is another one. It's a, di- it's, a, it's a difficult situation for him, but I'm yeah. not going to lie. I really feel it for him because I know what inactivity is like. So. Now, for you to feel it for him as a man that yeah. was chasing I, him down. I, I, I'm not going to lie, but I, I feel it for him still. It's mad. It's mad. Being being inactive and just training in the gym, bro, you can lose your mind, bro. Trust Talk me. on that, though, because you, you you've had you this. Just came through that. You just came through it, yeah? When you say that, yeah? Mm. Give us, like, I need to really understand what is a day in the life for someone that's inactive, waiting for that moment. Like, what's going on? How are you feeling? And do you still have to, are you still, like, bills and everything or sponsorships? Like, how does that thing work? Yeah, the money must, bro, after I, a I, while. I, I just have to make it work, bro. I have to make it work. There's a few guys, um, like, sponsors that help me. Yeah. So, obviously, uh, big shout out to LB. LV Jewelers. Go on, L. Um, and yeah, that's, but apart from that, bro, you just have to, you see me, I'll always find a way. There's no way that mm. I can, you know, just just be in the gym, sitting there after, I have to make a power note, especially in this, in this crisis that's that right. we're in now. It's hard, bro. It's hard. And no one, no one will ever understand it. On a day where you're just tired and, and, more time you just you just want to go to your bed after two sessions but yeah you have to get up and just go and make that paper and just work man so because so you easy, it'll be bro. tough for you to do like you couldn't i couldn't just see you in jd sports like nah, selling trainers yeah. and that man knows that's the, chris, that's chris but, but, but you know it is i don't care bro if i had to do that then mm, i'll yeah. just have to do Love it, it. Bro, fully respect it. I, fully you, respect you don't, it. I, I don't want to go i don't want to open some old doors mm. i don't want to do that I don't want to open. I'm not opening no old doors. I'm leaving them mm. because I know what risk they come with. So I'm not. I'm not looking at that. Mm. So when we say old doors, you're just talking about the typical inner city, of like course. us, like of what we had to. Yeah, of course, of course. Listen, there's there's many, plenty of ways to hustle in it. Mm-hmm. So obviously, there's ledge hustle and yeah. the other side to that, and it's so bad that I don't even want to say it. That's, so that's did you, uh, have you had like, did you have any near brushes or what was the moment? Cause you're saying, I don't want to go through those old doors. Mm-hmm. Was there a moment that was a like light bulb moment for you? You said, you know what? That's that route that's the is line, closed. Line under that. Yeah, line. I can't go that way anymore. Was there a moment or was there? Plenty of times. Last year, oh my God, bro, I was getting, I, I, Bro, it was there was just so much times someone would call you say, Yo, you're all right. Like my brethren called, yo, you're all right. I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm good. He's like, no, you're not good, bro. Let me come and check you. Mm. And he's gone, yeah, hey, boom, have that. I'm like, bro, don't worry, bro. I don't want it. He said, no, have that. And he's talking to me, yo, yo, listen, there's this and that. And I'm like, oh, don't tell me that, bro. Mm. Don't tell me that, bro. Because bro. I need that right now. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, no. Nah. And he's gone, you know what? I don't even want you. Forget that. Boom, gone. And he's gone, hold that. That's for you. Just get to the gym and back. That's it. I'm like, I'm flipping out, bro. This is difficult, Man. bro. Mm. I'm here, bro. I'm here stressing. 
Like no one, no one knows how hard it is, but bro, it is hard out here, bro. Cause is there still expectation bro, in this hard, moment? Bro. Is there still expectation from family and everyone that it's like, cause you've been on this journey for a while now mm -hmm. and we've seen you on, in our eyes, you know, with the mandem and stuff, we've seen you on Sky. Yeah. We know you got all the bread now. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you I need like, a couple yeah, hundred, yeah, 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 I might yeah. drop a text. We know you got the bread. <laughs> but when, when I was active, I was that guy. Mm. I was that guy. You know mm. what I mean? Like, like, like bro, I, I would help out anybody. Yeah. If you need help, I'm there. Yeah. What do you need? What needs to be done? Yeah. It's not a problem. We can, we can get by it. I'm, I'm all about solutions. Yeah. I don't like to focus on, ah, oh, this is a problem, that is a problem. No. Like, mm. all you got to do is ask. Do you feel you know the pressure, mean? though, in your times when, like, is a long layoff from you being in the I ring? I feel mad pressure, bro. Mad pressure. I'm seeing. It's not even, it's about seeing, it's not even about seeing guys fighting. It's the ones that, I will knock you out and this guy's active. Bro. Flipping out, bro. <laughs> I will <laughs> knock this guy out. And he's fighting. Three oh. Four times a year, he's fighting again. Shh. And man's just here, sit, sitting down like this. Basically, it's like, this, this is how it is. I'm sitting down, nowhere to go. Until they say, yep, Chris, come. Then I can stand up. Mm. But bro, when you're stagnant, the only thing that keeps me sane in my mind, or yeah. I would have lost it by now, is going to the gym, bro. Mm. It's going to the gym, bro. That's the only thing. Like people don't understand. See, see you, now, now I understand. There's a, there's an element in terms of what you said earlier. In terms of like, bro, I'm there to Bernard Hopkins. Da, 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 da. There's a there's a there's, there's something else that boxing is doing for you mm -hmm. that I don't pick up when fighters speak on it in a different way. Because when mm. men talk about getting the check, cash secure in the bag, and cutting, like you ain't mentioned peas once in any type of admirable way to the point where that's a focus of yours. Like mm -hmm. your thing is clearly, there's a, it's a mutual exchange, your relationship with boxing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And I think the upbringing, the, the stuff you've experienced sounds like it's brought you to that place. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be it's, it's mad. It'll be really hard for me to say, oh yeah, like people to start saying, oh, retirement. And that is, that is probably the, that's not even on my list mm -hmm. right now. And I don't think it's going to be on my list for a while, but I know there's a time it's going to come. Mm. So you all just got to wait for that moment. But I, if I'm honest, I'm not even looking forward to that moment, bro. I, I don't know. No, it I sounds like, it, it, it. no, you sound like someone that lives, that lives the gym it. is your life. That's what, bro. all I'm getting from you right now is the gym is your life, bro. And is it hard for you to see like other fighters where, they're not as serious in the gym. Or like, do you no, is, is there any frustration? I'm in a gym with serious, serious people. Yeah. So I don't see that. Mm. Like I've seen it previously and I'm like, bro, this guy's just playing games. Bro, bro. bro I don't even want to, yo, don't put me training with this guy again. Yo, take him out, get him out of the gym, bro. Yeah. Obviously before, this was before I, I went to Ben Davidson, but yeah, yeah. in my gym, there is serious, serious fighters and you just got to be serious yourself you, you just got to be on it yourself you sparring with josh taylor for for years, for years yeah for years years so even before josh taylor was with ben i was mm. sparring him when he was with shane um and yeah man that that there there were, there were some serious rounds did you think like how did it benefit you because obviously he's south poor and it's like there's just different mm -hmm. elements and stuff and you guys obviously must have a friendship as well to be that close yeah, and stuff like that. Do you definitely. think those things, did it help you or did it help you specifically getting to know him and his patterns? Did it help you for other opponents in turn, is what I'm saying? Uh, it helped me to see what kind of level I'm at and what kind of level I can compete. Because okay. Josh, he, he, he don't play. Even mm. in sparring, he don't play. Yeah, he seems you know? the type. Yeah, yeah, he he, he don't play. I see. I saw it one time at the zone. Um, it was the AJ one fight, yeah. and where we, we was on the broadcast that day, just doing a little back and forth about the fight. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing Josh Taylor at the entrance, and I'm looking at him, and in my mind, something's like this brother's familiar, you know. But these times <laughs> I'm staring at man for like seven to ten seconds. Mm. Donny's looking at me now, yeah. and he's looked back at me. He's like, what? Focus. <laughs> oh, what? And I'm like, <laughs> straight away, I'm rattled. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is he on smoke all the time, bro? Because he comes across like he is. No, Josh Taylor is calm. Man. He's, a, he's a good brother, man. He's a good brother <laughs> still. He's a good brother. So let's, you, you know, the just the next part of the journey, because mm-hmm. we can't act as if we you've experienced the losses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In those two losses, what have you learned? And, yeah, what, and, what, and separate them as well. Let's focus yeah. on the McKinson one. Because that one uh, I felt like was the stakes were, Conor Ben was, was close. It felt like Conor Ben was close. No, if, if, if I'm thinking about it now and I look at it now, Conor Ben was never close. Oh, bro. Okay. Why'd you say that? Never close. Why'd you say that? Mark U probably would have been closer than Conor Ben. Why? Okay. Wait, why though? When you say. I just know what they, they wanted to do with him. Oh, okay. knew what they wanted to do with him. Or what they wanted to do with him is what they're doing now. What, the fast track thing? Yeah, of course. They didn't want him fighting no one in the British level. That's, that's just my opinion anyway. Mm-hmm. But um, the only person they wanted him to fight was old man Jenkins. Yeah, yeah. They wanted him. They wanted That's to fight him. I, I know. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, oh he calls me old. But he's old school. Old, he's old, he's old, old though. Yeah, yeah, everything he's old, about he's old. That's funny. He's just old, man. Throw back everything, even his equipment. Just <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to fight him at one point, so I said, "Yo, if I." Go more than five rounds of this guy, bro. Don't give me no water, bro, because that's a joke. <laughs> I swear down. I'm not even joking, bro. Like, serious. But yeah, man, he just, he just, he just looked old overnight. But yeah, back to the, the that McKin- situation. Yeah, yeah. The McKinson one was just like, I don't know. It, it, it was a weird one because after the fight, I looked over to management like, and they've gone, and I'm like, okay. All right, cool. In the corner, obviously, Jim was like, it's close. You see, you know it is? Jim, Jim McDonald is a nice guy. He's a nice guy. And I think if he said to me, yo, you need to go. Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. then it would have been a different story. Yeah, because it was you know a slow. I mean? Yeah. Right, for, for you, you like, were slow then. Uh, and I don't get it twisted. I, I'm saying this to the camera. I hate watching McKinson fight. That, that, <laughs> that's punishment. If you tell me, sit there and watch McKinson, I'll so, do. Bro, um, do you see that pack that that guy brought to the house? Yeah. I'd rather move that fam. <laughs> I'm not interested in watching this guy fight, bro. So I know in the hey, ring, but so then you were just, you were so it. different. I watched you in Lee. We saw you in Lee, in the Lee Arena, like back, like way back 2019. in 2019. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, and I was yeah. like, so I'm like, I know what Congo does. I'm watching the McKinson fight saying he's going to get going. Mm-hmm. And the, you just, the gear wasn't there. Everything. Like, but it, nah, it was the spoiling. Too, too much of being patient and too much playing to his game when I should have just just done the mad thing. I should have just went there. Because I was, bro, if you train with Jim, you know, I, I was fit. Yeah. You know, I was fit. Fitness is... is a, a minor to, yeah. to Jimmy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was always fit. But when I look back on the fight, I'm like, oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? And How many times you so watched it back? How many times you watched it back? Bro, I could only watch it twice. Really? I ain't watch, I ain't watch it right. no more. I know, I've watched it three times. I've yeah. watched it twice um, by myself. And I watched it one more time with, with Ben Davison and we broke it down. And I couldn't believe some of the stuff I was doing was actually good, but I'll just take a step back and it was just like, what the, what? Why did did you that? feel nervous? Cause I know this was like, obviously after big lockdown and stuff like that, like we're, it's in Gibraltar, like everything was kind of open up again. Things looked different. They felt different, no fans and that. Mm, did no, that stuff was, play into it at all? I, I was more nervous for the fight before. I was shit in my pants. Bro. Okay. Cause look at, look at the, the timeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of fights. And from that to a title fight, I was like, of course, oh, of course. On? This is this is obviously when COVID has started to slow yeah, things yeah, down. Yeah, so I was more nervous for that. McKinson's fight, I wasn't. I, I don't know, man. I, I wasn't. Not that I wasn't. I wasn't nervous for it, mm. but I should have gone in for the kill. Mm-hmm. Mm. Should have been a lot smarter. But it is what it is. And and you know what? After that fight there, that was probably the lowest moment I've ever ever had in boxing. Cause you Never know, had. you know what's mad though? Cause I felt for Kelvin because I knew you was low in that one. Because when you mm. came out there, it was Kelvin next to it after that one. No, Don't tell, no. was it? Was it? Don't after me? Uh, after, after McKinson. 
Yeah, 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 it was yeah, him, fam. Yeah, it was him. It was and you oh. said, I'm taking your head off, fam. Because yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you, there was a low moment, mm-hmm. and you see, you've come out, and we've seen, I got to see aggressive version of you again. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. saw, like, you know, like, this is who you're going to be. And it's like, all right. Because when do you meet, when do you join Ben Davis? When is the moment? When is the switch? Um, the switch was, was it after? after after McKinson. So then we see that, okay, you're locked in now, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and then now we get to the, Echo fight. Mm-hmm. We use Formella next, and then it's Echo. Yeah, Formella, then Echo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So what, what happened in there? What was the difference? And, you know, now getting back at that one, and yeah, what did you learn from that one and stuff? It's like you sat in the pocket and said, yo, machine for machine. <laughs> every, <laughs> every man, let's just see what I've gone, bro. Um, what I learned from that is just don't blow your gasket too early. Mm. I think I blew it. Okay. No, no, I think I know I blew it. Right. I know what I done. Yeah. yeah. I saw an opening and I would draw, I could close my eyes and Ben going, don't no. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? And then a couple of rounds went by. And I was like, yo, yeah, my second win's coming. He hit me over a few shots. I thought, yo, this guy can I need to, yo, this white man can punch. But <laughs> I'm staying in here, bunny. I, I, I can get this like and then it was like th- this was round seven round eight mm. i started coming back i started feeling back you know when that yeah, second yeah, yeah. win kicks in yeah but people say it wasn't enough to come back but when you watch it round for round i still think i've done enough to win mm. but to the judges eyes it is it is what i it ain't is. gonna lie bro that last round fam I ain't gonna lie. Fam. When you when you watch I the ain't last gonna lie, round, because I like I'll be I, I like they would I hate, hate me. They would hate. They'll say KG, <laughs> the I you hate. that you are, bro. That watch, last round, fam, the and last, you were open as well. Fam. Watch the last round. Yes. And if you watch the last round, calculate how much clean punches he landed and how much I landed. It knows and your that response to the punches, though. It looked like it's a couple times. One, it looked like it hurt, bro. You know, like in terms of, and then I when you right, when man. I see you do, it's when I see like you know, and I know the clinch is part of it, but mm-hmm. sometimes the clinch can look negative at times. Yeah. It's like, oh, he's he's mm-hmm. just saved himself. He's okay. dived in for the safety. Do you know what I'm saying? So I, I, this. I have to be real. Because it's, it's one of the ones, because it's one of the ones where you're the fighter in the mix, yeah? Mm-hmm. So you know that one didn't hurt, that one that one missed, I blocked that one, da 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 But mm-hmm. from the outside, there's times where you're on the ropes and he's, bam, body. And it's just like, you see the shot and it's like, oh, that looks like it hurts. Mm-hmm. And I know saying? no one usually does that to, it's hard no to, one does that to you. Like I, I know you've had the awkward ones. When I think of the McKinson one, I think mm. he's so awkward. This is long like, yeah. referee man, in this fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. then it was just knowing that he was saying, right, he's right there with you. So you're mm-hmm. throwing, you've thrown like two, he's thrown three back. Then after now you lot in a war, but then he's, the eye-catching shot mm-hmm. is there was a couple of those eye-catching shot moments. I was like, <sighs> Mm. If we get this again, so Marku, yeah, let's not forget this though. Yeah. You have you are you still thinking about Echo though? Do you still feel like you unfinished got, business? Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll run that back again. So yeah, yeah. Anytime so, me and Echo fight, it will always be like that. It's gonna look like that. Do you know him from sparring like before? Just like I have sparred you... him on GB years ago. We was on GB together, and it was the same thing. And it was it was war for war, bro. Oh, see, it's machine. Listen, machine and the thing is, I see. Machine. I know you bucked him at um, what I can't remember what fight it was Lee after Wood, that. Lee Wood, when he got beat by thing, yeah. And he was sounding like he wanted that rematch again. No, nah, of course he didn't want that. Why would he want that? But what confuses me is like I ain't really seen him. Yeah, I know. I I don't know where he's. Obviously, he had he had the one fight against what's his name again? What's that? Harry Scarf stinks as well, man. Um, <laughs> Harry Scarf, yeah, bro. He had a <laughs> fight with him. Him and McKinson are like, they, they should fight each other. They're both stinkers, innit? <laughs> They're both stinkers, innit? Like, bro, if you, if you, bro, if they fought, nobody will go. <laughs> <laughs> if they fought, nobody will go. That arena is empty. Just them, oh, the corner, the corner man, a couple of mates, yeah, and the judges. <laughs> nobody would go. Like, <laughs> See this game, bro. You gotta be exciting, bro. You That's gotta be funny. exciting, man. Big man thing. And it's just like I remember he boxed on the same day that 
I boxed. Yeah. And my brethren, my, my brethren, they, they, you know, you know, the guys, mm. they know boxing just because I'm in it. Yeah. And yeah, they yeah, know yeah, the yeah. weights because yeah. I'm in it. They don't know anyone else. They, they couldn't say, they could watch someone and say, yo, he's cold. Like yeah. my brethren watched someone watch Inoue in his last fight. I said, bro, that guy's cold, bro. You yeah, should be watching not him. even knowing that. Yeah, not, not, not knowing. He's, he's the, the guy. guy. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember he boxed on the same card that I boxed on. Yeah. And my brethren were watching first couple rounds and they left. They, they ducked out. They went to go get drinks. You see, after, after that fight, they were like, Chris, if you fight that guy, I'm not coming. I said, why? I, I'm on all the smoke, bro. I fight anybody. What do you mean? Why wouldn't you come? But oh no, he's, he, he's boring, man. He's boring, man. He shouldn't even be a fighter. And I'm like, oh, that's deep. That's just his style, isn't it? It's just that kind of, but they don't understand that. Hey, you know talk mean? to that's us about, uh, let's understand um, Ben Davison. Yeah. Because obviously Ben Davison's with AJ, you, mm -hmm. you're he's like- He's hot right now. He's, he's hot right now. Like The thing is, he's always been kind of warm, a bit of warmth to his name. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot of people try and criticize and take kind of sweep his leg from underneath him, calling him a you know, fit sports and fitness conditioning yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. He's, got some, he's got some stuff to his name. Like he can't take away. What did you, what are you gaining? Or what are you like, what's he bringing out of you as a fighter? Would you say? All right. So I always, so the start of this, how the link up really happened. Yeah. Was obviously I was sparring Josh before, uh, before the Ramirez fight, but mm. just listening to certain stuff, I was like, hmm, that's interesting. And then obviously listening to Lee Wiley, who's also in, in the, in, in, in the camp. Like there's one time I went to, I said, are you a coach? You sh you need to be a coach because mm. what I'm hearing here, raw, like, mm. yo, this is, this is serious stuff. Yeah. And I, I, I watch a lot of breakdowns online. I watch, mm. I watch a lot of breakdowns, like just break, breaking down fights and seeing, seeing things from outside of, um, from the other side of the, the ring. Mm. Right? And I always said, if there was someone in my camp doing breakdowns for me, that's it. I'm gone. Yeah. That's where I need to be. And seeing Ben, how he works and how he, he can break down a fighter said, yo, this is where I need to be. Ben, Barry Smith and Lee Wiley, for me, the best people I've worked with in the professional boxing game. Wow. Sure. Okay, so, because I've always had like, I, I me, my critique before with Ben was, bro, like I'm not seeing you. I see you inherit fighters, mm -hmm. but I don't see like the like the fight off from beginning all the way one. to the end. Yes. And it's like yeah. this is what I've this is what I built. But then I can't again. Boxing changes and grows in it. Well, you will have that now because you got Royston Barney Smith. You started mm -hmm. with him. You got Al Alloys is in the camp now, and. Uh, yeah, man, I think this is this is just a camp, bro. Like, look, mm. look, you you thought I know you guys thought Jordan Gill was gonna lose. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, against my brother. Against, oh, against my man. My I never man saw that game plan. I rounds. never saw that game plan coming. <laughs> he fought bro. Fury for bro, five rounds and then, bro, bro. I couldn't I, believe how he was just, giving up. It, it was just, bro. That's what I'm saying. How can I not be in a camp? But even you know, even the work he's done with AJ has made me really go rotted. Because AJ looked like he was on a slope where it's like, I don't know if man's gonna be able to turn it around. No, Brother. no, no. I, I, I think, I, obviously I've seen AJ spar in the gym, but even before he come, I always thought that Ben was gonna say, Yo, you need to go back to being aggressive. That's mm. your thing. Look how big you are. Look at like, be, use your attributes. Mm. And I think Ben's just done that perfect. That's what, the, and that's the little part of why I'm excited about you two's link up because I don't know, I felt like you were trying to be in this sweet science bag where you was like, you know, I'm going to pick off my shots. I'm going to stay on the outside. I'm yeah, going to try and do things, cute look in there, nice and stuff. And it's me. like, but I know like, even when I was hearing, because I heard about you before, like way before. Everyone was talking to you saying, This guy. Yeah, you know, they, that, they don't want to see Chris. They no don't, one wants nobody to wants to put their guy with Chris. That's the thing that kind of That was the energy. So then I was, I was like, well, why is he reverting? Or why is he like and I feel like Ben's gonna you, you there's this link up with Ben right now. Mm -hmm. You've kind of recognized I'm good at this, this, mm -hmm. this, and forward. Mm -hmm. 
Is that is that right? Is that that's, true or that, not really? That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. And we're like, like I said, we're working every day, man. Whether it, whether it's Ben, whether it's Barry, whether it's just Lee, it, whoever's in the gym, we all. It, the, what what I like about the gym is well, all the coaches are in sync. Mm. So. Okay, Come fight night. It, no don't, it, don't, it, it, it don't matter who's in, in, in my corner. It could be just one. It can be all three. Mm. But we're, we're coming out victorious, man. So in terms of the mental side of things, right? Because obviously when people talk about what Ben did with Tyson Fury, getting him, you know, from mm -hmm. being mad overweight in yeah. there with, with Wilder for a memorable fight. Yeah. What's the mental side of what Ben is doing for you? Because I know that, you know, we've kind of tapped into your story, the pressure that you carry and just different elements that make you up how is he complimenting that side of your game? Um, I think he's, Ben, he's just being, he, he, what I need is just realness. That's it. Especially when it comes down to things like that, like in a gym, Neo, that's shit. Mm. That's what I want. Oh, you know what? Today was better. Mm. That's all I want. And from, from, from all the coaches, right, that is it. Like, do you reckon that's come from your it? sorry not to just cut you there do you reckon that thing has come from your brothers and having two older brothers that would speak to you and stuff and yeah. tell you like would they be really real with you after fights and they, say look man they would be so real. What if, my brother would say what, what was that what mm. was that what was you doing mm. like and that's the kind of realness I need I don't need this half hearted thing oh protecting man's was, feelings oh, no nah, don't don't protect man's feelings don't mm. do that I'm not a chick, bro. Like, don't it. do that. Tell me, was that good or was it shit? Yeah. Mm. Or if it was all right, or if we need to work on this a bit more. That's real. Just tell me. That's, That's very real. And then at least I know, all right, I'm happy. I've heard the truth and we work on it. So like, obviously you're with, you're signed with Boxer. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. What's like, because there's a lot of things happening in boxing. Yeah, Saudi mm. Arabia. Yeah, is, man's is. trying to go Saudi. Bro. <laughs> but I don't even want to ask questions, bro, because man's seeing, uh, uh, man's, yo, like man's trying to get to Saudi, G. Fam, the you know Saudi I mean? team. His Excellency, fam. It starts out to His Excellency, boy. Oh, man might have to just send him an email and say, yo, <laughs> keep on, man, my guy. Cause them purses. Yo, these lot are just doing the like, madness. Man are happy to go over there and just just lose and be in there with killers. Because yeah, because even that who's Ellis Zorro and Opatia. Ellis, that Ellis was, said, that was "Yo, that's that, I was, that's just." I was, I was I was I was I was sad for him still, but at the same time, can you be sad? Because look at his pockets. He's up now. Now his boss. pockets. He's nah, if he nah, come in nah, here. Nah. If he come in here and he's walking out, there'll probably be money dropping out of his pockets. No, Listen, bro. Now nah, let's let's talk on it though. Would you, we would done you take that it. upper tire fight? You right me? now? Would you take the upper tire fight no for that chance. piece? After when Fury said send him back to Australia, <laughs> in my story, in my storyline, Fury sent him back to Australia. Fury said five rounds of this nonsense. <laughs> no, nope, go home. You're not here to prepare me for what I'm trying to do. You're here to make a statement. You're here on statement energy, bro, because now people are leaking footage. You seen the, um, have you seen the Raleigh footage? I haven't been on no social media. Oh, they've oh you don't even know what's going on, bro. Like, so again, T, um, T, T Fimo, Fimo, yeah? He's yeah. leaked the footage of um, him um, sparring with Raleigh mm -hmm. in 2000 and, and he's what's it? Beating and he's up, beating him. Oh my God. Beating him. Sin, like, Hold on a minute, sparring stories. You sparred Chris Eubank Jr. at one point. Yeah. And I remember seeing that footage and sending this, because uh, your face was, you had the head guard on. Yeah. I sent this around to like six brothers. Who is this brother? Because he's, handle, he's handling Jr., fam. Yeah. yeah. It, there was some slick, I'll think to myself, he don't even look like he's the same weight. They're like, nah, he's a water. My boy knows his name. And it was, I had to do I, research. I, you, know, you know how to lie, innit? I had to lie. I had to say I was a super water. Um, Cause they, if I said I was a water, they wouldn't want me back. They, they would have said I was too small. Fam, but you was, let's be real. You was winning whatever, however long that was going on for. You was winning all of the footage, fam. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> listen. Honestly. Sparring, sparring. So what, that, I, I hate you, I'm not trying to get you to wreck on yeah. Junior, but what was them sessions saying? They were good, man. They were, they were like, you know, you know, how, you, you know how you bank comes and Obviously, the dad, innit? Yeah, you know, the dad, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a whole double lot, act to a limit. You lot better be ready because you know, is it my son? 
You might kill you. Why is he doing this I'm, to everyone? Like, you, you, I was thinking, uh, what, what should I get in there? Just trash talking. My thing, yeah. Wait, so wait. You're Go out ahead of the ring. <laughs> Hold on. You're out of the ring, yeah? Wrapping up the gloves. Man's wrapping and he's, up. And he, he, wait, where's, where's Senior right now? When he's, like, he's, he's, he's like, he's, he's come in the gym and he's looked at my like, you, you're not sweating. You're not sweating. <laughs> and I'm like, he I'm did like, the same to you. What do you mean? <laughs> you're not sweating. You need to warm up. You need to warm up. My son, he's going to kill you. I said, nah, gee, like, so, come on. Bro. Hitting the same bars to every fighter that comes through that bro. gym is crazy. Did and you feel guy, crazy about not sweating when he spoke to you? Because obviously this is senior. If senior's telling you, bro, like, I'm senior, I'm telling you, you don't look ready for my son. Was a little part of you like, bro, like, what's this son on? Nah, man, I thought this guy, I, I thought he was on a wind up, but when I was like getting warm, <laughs> I was like, hold on, this guy, this guy was serious, man. No. <laughs> Let me hit one, two bags before I get in there, you know, car. Let me just do two, two rounds in the bags and then I'm warm. So I was warm. I was warm. I was calm. But I see your, I see you, Bank Junior, take some brothers to the slaughterhouse. Seriously. And I'm like, oh, blood everywhere. Wow, everywhere. Really? Because there's I'm a looking, reason why that's talking this way. I'm looking, I'm thinking, no, that, nope, I'm not getting, no, nope, I'm not getting hit with that shot. Hell no. Hell no. I'm mm. moving to my right. I'm gonna I'm gonna move smart in this thing because yo, I've I've seen him take some people. This is what you went on. Like the type of sparring that he does, that sounds like he's on his like, No, 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 no. I'm not practicing that. Let me let me let me let me let me tell it straight. Right, right now. Go on, go on. When you spar you back junior, yeah. It is not a spar, it's a bout. Oh. Put that in your mind. <laughs> what you think is a spar? You think he's gonna go there, he's working on forget that, man. That's out the window. It's about, bro. You're, 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 you're having We're a, fighting, bro. Now. I've had a couple bouts, you know, in the gym. <laughs> there should be more than sixteen on my record. I've, I've had bare bouts. How many rounds are you, are you see, keeping you men in there? Uh, uh, that were, that time I done four. Then I was like, oh yeah, come back, come back. Then done six. So I've I've, I've mainly done just couple six yeah, yeah, rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Couple That's, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I've I've, I've took 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 a trip down to down Brighton, to Brighton, boy, and and got it in. So. And because he's obviously he's a different type of like personality. He's a different type of personality. Us man from South and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> he's obviously you've got to the gym. He's got the collars. He's got the high collars on. I don't know yeah. if he's and the massive boots and the stair as well. So mm -hmm. like, does the stair go after a while? Like, is it you know? Because there's TV version of him, and yeah. I just see. Is it one that was where man's staring at you, but then after a couple of rounds, he sits down and he's like, yeah, good shit, man. Yeah, where you from, man? Like? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's what it is, man. Okay. It's more of like, he's staring, and then he's like, he walk away, do his thing, and come back, stare. <laughs> you know how he moves, though. You know how he moves. With the high colours, yeah, bro. The high I can always see it, bro. <laughs> But that's the, he only ever done that once. And I think that was just the first one. When he saw what I was about, yeah. then he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. This serious fighter. Yeah, even, now he can be your friend. Even, yeah. <laughs> even with his other son, even with his other son, Banks, like I, I remember seeing you banking um, uh, O2 at the Intercontinental. He's like, mm. yeah, you need to be sparring with this guy. He's serious. Mm. And I was like, yeah, we'll get some work in whenever still. Like, mm. but, so he, he knows that I'm, I'm a serious candidate. The warrior's code, fam. Yeah, yeah the you got their respect, fam. The you got their respect. warrior's code, yeah. man. It must be shit to go and spy my man in Brighton and then you don't get the respect and you're walking out, it's a bit oh, silent, bro. fam. Walking out there, I felt so for them guys. Walking out there, the, the, the towels. Don't even say bye like, to you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a cold walkout. Just a cold walkout, bro. They, they didn't even say bye. I, I remember that guy, man. I felt so for my sake, oh, fam. Damn. <laughs> Damn, it was just one of them ones. Damn. <laughs> right. Right. It's mad, it's mad like when you obviously, because what, what other sparring guys that you've been in with? Because obviously we forget as fans, like fighters, they know each other well. Yeah. They'd be invited yeah. to each other's gym. They spar, they, like Eubank Jr. and Carl Froch, they've just gone rounds. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Who else have you been in with? Uh, I've been with, in, in with a few good people. James DeGaulle. Okay. Oh, yeah. James the guy done some rounds with the him. Him, warrior, fam. yo, you see him. Yeah. If you ain't ready for him for his talk, just don't even bother. Oh, oh he's talking mid. He's talking mid. But spot. there's no one there. Who's it? Who's spot. it for? Is it just? I, I don't. Know. There's no one. There's no cameras or nothing. That's that funny. But that's that's just how he is. That's just how he is. <laughs> like, 
That's I funny. remember hitting him with a good shot. He's going, yeah, yeah, too slick, yeah, yeah. And he's coming. He's like, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, me, let, me, let me get this ready. <laughs> let me get this ready. But yeah, no, we had some good spars. Mm. Um, On that though, can I ask yeah. you this quick question? Mm -hmm. In the ring now with you, because you're talking different fighters are speaking and stuff. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Like, are you talking to the fighter? Like, what's happening in... In the ring, like if you're in the ring of Congo right now, what round one, round two's happen? What's yeah. the energy saying from you? Like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not talking. I'm just straight on smoking. This guy's business. a cold killer guy. Smoky <laughs> business, man. When I'm with the more, like the more quiet I am, the more these guys should be afraid. So <laughs> when I do, I, I don't really talk anyway. If yeah. you did talk, you wouldn't even really even like hear it like that because he'd be in the middle of the madness and he's just like, right, what do you say? You're going straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking everyone in street to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, this guy. The whole camp, everyone, the camp, <laughs> just... Marku, the people that know Marku, Marku's fans, straight to hell. Fam, <laughs> talk us through how that fight is going to go with Marku, bro. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it's going to go two ways, isn't it? I, I, two ways or, it, it can go whichever way really, but I'm, I'm just ready for the smoke. Um, no, no, no. I nah, think, nah, I nah. think mm -hmm. he's, I think, you know what? Wait, wait, no. Nah. Nah. Out the barbershop, fam. Yeah. Wait, out the barbershop, fam. I don't want to, we don't want, not on this platform, fam. You've walked into the barbershop. It's, it's packed, bro. But everyone's, the shears, you know when they said, hey, Congo's coming in, and they turn, <laughs> the, they turn off the cliffers, bro. Yeah. And we say, yo, Congo. They told my man to wait 15 minutes. So wait you a minute, your trip. Congo, mm -hmm. what are you doing fight night? What can we expect, bro? Boy. We can. You're gonna. You're gonna see. Yes. Class. Yes. Classy. Classy violence. Classy violence. Classy violence. That's what I'm on. That's giving shiny I'm shoes. Maybe even. That's giving shiny I'm shoes, but gun is on the inside pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shiny, pointy shoes as well, you know. Yeah, like, shiny you know, pointy shoes. Shiny pointy. Shiny pointy but shoes. violence. Yeah. With two straps behind my back. And just on it. I have, this I have, is it. I have okay. to be this fight. South London. This is it. Firm. I, I gotta bring I gotta bring more than what I brought with Echo. Even though yes. I feel like Echo is the better fighter. Yes. And we all know really Echo yes. is the better fighter. I gotta bring more than that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So if I bring more than that to Florian, yeah. That's it. It's a wrap. Because and there's so much riding on this one because I saw you, bro. You were the people were tweeting you a madness. Yeah, there were some racist yeah. tweets. You were bro. dealing with some strong was, uh, tweets, bro. And Mark who weren't you, condemning them tweets. Mark who didn't really speak <laughs> up and condemn. Like yeah, he didn't I take a knee. to him. I said, yo, yo, chat to your people. Yeah. yeah man, Silence, man. Man, man basically opened the door like this and just closed it. So. <laughs> Silence was loud. I was like, raw, okay, okay. Listen. So yeah. are you part of them or are you condemning this? Yeah. What, like, what, what's going on here? Do because you condemn these tweets? So it, is it a thing mad, now? Bro. It's mad. You so are now you it's like, yeah, now, you know what? I'm adding extra violence on it. <laughs> Thank you very I'm adding, much. I'm, I'm coming, I got the two straps and I got the ZKs. <laughs> for no reason, so, fam. Man, just for no reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. No, man, man can't have that still. And and if I'm honest, I, I'll say it straight. The man them are coming out still. <laughs> Man, they are coming out. Absolutely, oh, fam. Oh, no, we're not, we're not hearing no racist chants or whatnot because if that's what they're DMing me, yeah, what, what do you think is going to happen day of the fight? What could happen there? Mm. You need to mash my up. No, the thing, the killer is here. Only the fight is you two right now, mm -hmm. yeah. And silence will speak when we a beautiful performance. Them man can't talk. Yeah, no one can talk. To, a beautiful up. performance from you. Up. Nobody's talking. And, and after you could do the Rocky speech. <laughs> I hated you when I got here. You hated me. But after these rounds, <laughs> I now love you. <laughs> and you look, not you just dealing with race relations, fam. <laughs> Yeah. Has he got a Coretta though, fam? That's the that's the main thing though. The tweets were mad still. I'm the tweets were, nah, I hear it. My I hear DMs, it. my DMs are crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Well, I hey. even had people saying they, they want to take my life on that, bro. They're coming to kill me. Bro, I'm probably Fritz. Find you. Oh, they had like Fritz like that? Like yeah, I had Fritz, bro. 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 No way. Like you was actually, bro. Man. Please, please read. What this. is that like though? Like please just that level this, of hatred. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they hate me. That's insane. 
Yeah, okay, where's, where's it? Look, I ain't gonna lie, Travis is the greater right. reader in this. All right. Oh! 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 read that one. Travis, go ahead. This please, is a mad one. Please read that one. Oh! Please read that oh, one. Oh, I'm not even saying that aloud in this pod, fam. Yo, but this is well, powerful. Wait, hey, listen. Yeah, that's mad still. Hey, that's, I'm not gonna what, lie. Wait, hold on, that's this in morning. The tweet, that's this morning. That's not even. No, it's old. not even past. In the tweet here, yeah, I'm just gonna say for. I, ain't gonna, I can't even read it, yeah? Obviously, I'm sure, I know you lot see that one in the old post. Yeah, yeah, old yeah, post, yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah, the that, tweet, that I just want to say, in the tweet, if you're wondering, use your imagination or the racism's there. Let me ask you just something. To, you know you when you say all of it, like, it's clear. Let me ask you something, right? Yeah. Social media and boxing now, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's a close relationship. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, yeah. man, feel like they can tweet you and send you messages and, and it go crazy. That's but crazy. No? Another element I want to speak to you is, do you feel the pressure of like, you're in a scrap? Let's say you go down. Do you know what I mean? You I'll never down. go down. I'll never go down. Did you see me go down in my last fight? No. 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 My man could punch. I didn't go down. But I'm talking like the pressure of fans watching and the whole, oh, I could be a That's meme. That's nothing, man. You feel the, No? Obviously, I, I, I don't know if the venue's 100% confirmed yet, but the venue that I boxed in my last fight compared to this one, is it's nothing. Mm. I, I'm not going to feel nothing. I didn't feel nothing in Manchester Arena, and that was a big arena. Mm. And I was just like, yo, we're, we're going at it. It's, it's got to be done. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm fully in. I'm fully in and ready to go. So all this, all, all this, uh, he's he's had a hundred and certain kickboxing fights and all of that. I heard he wasn't even in the big league in, kick, in kickboxing. He didn't, he wasn't in K1. Speak on it. He wasn't in K1. Speak K1 on it. Proper, proper thing. What, what league was he in? <clears throat> Yeah. The division two kickboxing. Man, man, <laughs> man was in the Premier League. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah, man, it's it's one of them ones. I, I, I found out. I found no. I, I got a few Albanians myself. Mm. So I know. I know. I know this. All right. And you know what? Well, listen, people. <laughs> you know what to do right now. Let me talk to that camera. You heard what he's covered. Shiny shoes. <laughs> Two straps, unnecessary ZKs, bro, with the extendo in it, fam. It is serious, bro. No. And that's in the arms, fam. This guy said it is war. If you're not watching, shame on you, it's- fam. And Marku, whoo! Marku, I hope the kickboxing's gonna help, bro. Because he's, nah, he's focused. I already know, bro. Let me tell you, in his mind right now, all he's thinking, put the camera on him, drag straight to hell. <laughs> That's all that's in his mind, bro. Bro, Trav, you gotta hit that. You gotta hit that bar, bro. Yeah, let them know, fam. Bro, to, bro. what camera do? Hey, what, what, like, what camera? Tell him where he's going, bro. To that camera yeah. there. What camera is this? Cam, which camera, Wally, fam? We gotta be focused. Down the middle, fam. That one that there. One, that one. Tell him, bro. You're talking to Marku right now. Where is he now. getting dragged to, bro? Marku, you're getting sent to hell, my brother. Straight, straight. No oh game. Oh my. Oh. All you, all your guys, you know what? All your, all your guys that's been DMing me, mm. God bless you, man, innit? But you, man, gonna feel something that day. Your captain? You gonna feel something that day. Your captain, fam. The captain leading the ship? It's yeah. Gonna, it's gonna feel. Holy it's gonna feel like that submarine yeah. that got lost, fam. Yeah. Or is that too far? That's, that's it. Submersible settings. Submersible settings. <laughs> we need to end this pod because right. we're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> that's it, submersible. Chris, thank you for coming through. Thank bro. you. No, we're, no. we're locked in, man. We're, we're we can't wait, fam. And we're hopefully we really see you. We're rooting for you in this we're one, man. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Going fully in, so yeah. Big up. Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be.